Welcome back to Capital Markets, your show on securities tradable on the Nigerian financial markets. Let's quickly dash off to see what other markets offshore uh, look like for this week. And we'll go over to African markets. That's what it means. Uh, South Africa entered recession for the first time in eight years. Data showed on Tuesday piling pressures on the government facing corruption allegations and credit downgrades. Data from the statistics South Africa showed that the first quarter contraction was led by weak manufacturing and trade suggesting high unemployment and stagnant wages were uh, dragging down South Africa's long resilient consumer sector with halting impacts on the companies and the year-to-date record of the markets now slipping into a negative of 1.80%. And that means the index level is hovering around 52,216.93, while the week-to-date performance came in at one point, a negative of 1.27 percent and in the egyptian markets we've got the index level at 13,683.66 up for the week 1.61 percent the uh, nairobi stock exchange in kenya is down 0.13 percent while ghana came down 0.09 business points now, the chief executive of FSO Assets Management, Mr. Tola Odukoya, still with us, has been helping us to understand Nigerian debt records and the state of the bonds market. Let's go on with the discussion now. And, Mr. Odukoya, let's take a look at the uh, kind of diversification that the bonds markets that we have in Nigeria now has brought into the system, into the capital markets for us. Um, Compared to the year 2007, 2008, the dominant securities in the Nigerian market is equities. Now we have bonds. So when things are not going too well, you have where to diversify to. Now talk to us about how this has worked out in the financial system. Well, what um, the coming on board of the debt market has done for us in Nigeria is that it has given us the opportunity to invest in other instruments like you rightly mentioned prior to 2000 uh, the advent of the bond market in nigeria was simply just buying and selling shares equities yeah. now you have government bonds you have state government bonds you have corporate bonds you have commercial paper too these are all uh, tradable securities that have allowed investors to have that choice of investing their uh, funds in various asset classes mm. so uh, let's look at exit options how much of exit routes do we now have in the system well, you have, uh, besides the Nigerian Stock Exchange for trading of uh, equities, as we all know, you can also trade bonds there. But remember, you also have the FMDQ, uh, which followed the FMDQ Financial Markets Dealers Association that metamorphosed into FMDQ. That's also a platform where you can trade bonds, especially commercial paper. And also you have the NASD, where you can list um, over-the-counter securities, that's equities now. Yeah. So all of these uh, platforms give investors the opportunity to exit or to buy depending on um, what, what uh, your investment horizon is. Mm. So we have a number of listed federal government bonds as it is right now, but uh, are there some that are not listed and what do we need to do to get these ones listed enough for investors who want to exit, you know, to get them done, to get that done? Federal government bonds are listed. State government Everything. bonds are, yes, are listed. Um, as a matter of fact, it's one of the requirements um, for, to issue such paper. Right. Um, even these days, you have some corporates listing their um, commercial paper issued mm. on the FMDQ. They list on the FMDQ where you can now trade mm. um, accordingly. Okay, so uh, things are right now are more with the federal government bonds. We haven't seen much of state bonds you know, being issued in the last two years of this administration. Uh, give us a sense of what has gone wrong. Well, it's really got nothing to do with the administration. It's just what happened to us as a, as, a, as a country revenues dropped which meant that states could not even um, get enough funds to, to uh, operate as it were so and for you to issue a bond for me to invest you must be able to show the capacity to repay and we all know that a lot of states have financial issues uh, as, as it were as we speak so issuing bonds may not all go well for any states besides maybe a state like lagos for example that has huge um, uh, humongous revenue resor uh, resources from which it taps the revenues but most states 
are just not in that financial situation where they can issue bonds as we speak. Investors will always argue that, look, you can always tap into the bond market, take um, resources from there, you know, and use for infrastructure development. What do these states now need to start doing, you know, enough for them to be able to uh, benefit from the markets by listing some or, or floating some bonds again? Remember the capacity to repay is very important. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can issue a bond. It's just like walking to your bank and say, oh, I need a loan for X million. The first thing they're going to check out is, can you repay? Can you sustain that debt level? And so it, it, investors may want to, but investors too also will be careful in putting their, their monies in a place where that there's no demonstrable ability mm -hmm. to repay or capacity to repay. So I think that is the challenge most states are facing as we speak. Mm. Of course, the ratings on a lot of the states have also uh, dropped by a lot of the uh, international agencies. But let's look at the, f the bonds that a lot of the states have raised before now. What has become of these bonds? They are listed. They are uh, they, they are listed on the Securities Exchange, FMDQ, Nigerian Stock Exchange. Um, but the, the, good, the thing is that most of them are not trading because they are very rich assets. So some states issue their bonds at 18%, 17%. And remember, most of these bonds were purchased by professional or let me say institutional uh, uh, managers who would rather just hold the bonds and collect their interests on a periodic basis, maybe semi-annually, maybe annually, maybe quarterly. And so there really is no need for me to want to sell an asset that's giving me such a re rich uh, interest. Except, of course, I can see another investment that pays more. If there's none, I will hold it. But yes, they are listed and yes, they are tradable. Mm. Okay, so on a final note, next week we'll see the uh, debt management office, you know, floating uh, or auctioning uh, some bonds again. Uh, I think it's 214 billion uh, worth of bills and all of that. Yes. So what are you anticipating, given the fact that we've seen a switch from, a switch from debt markets to equities now? Well, it, it depends. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it that way. It depends on the kind of investors you are talking about. And okay. remember, the equity market will remain choppy in its pattern. Okay. I mean, for example, next week, as we go into next week, we probably see some profit taking in the equities market. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. We appreciate you coming on uh, Capital Market this evening. Thank you very much. Mr. Tola Odukoya is the CEO of Asset, FSL Asset Management. Uh, next week, some of the events that you should watch out for are the facts behind the figures of Amoluabi uh, Savings and Loan, uh, the NSC Trading uh, uh, derivatives, training on derivatives as well as CCP transactions and all other events that you can see right there on the screen. Thank you very much for being a part of Capital Market this evening. Thanks for watching. I'm Temple Ashadu and I'll see you next time.